So I know I said we were done, but there is some information that was just too important to not include. So we're going to have a second conclusion to our chapter 10 video lecture. So once again, this graph does an illustration of the cost of renting versus the cost of purchasing an actual home. And what we take a look at would be the actual benefits of purchasing a home compared to those of actual renting. So you add up all the different costs from the home purchase, it would total $49,356 compared to the cost of renting over that time period was $21,000. 660. However, because of the cost of, of the home purchasing, you do have what we call an equity investment. You have an actual asset. Your home is something of value that you consider to be an asset. And once again, there's also tax savings that come from buying a home because the mortgage interest that you pay on your home as well as the real estate tax are tax deductible and they could have an impact on your actual tax return. Now there are other types of mortgages that I want to talk to you guys about, make sure you're aware of these, what we call special types of mortgages. One is a graduated payment mortgage. So once again, when you're signing any type of mortgage contract, Please, please, please read those terms carefully. If you need to take somebody with you that has a understanding of finance or at least be able to maybe send somebody a copy of the contract before you sign it, just to make sure you understand what you're signing, okay? So with the graduated payment mortgage, that's a mortgage where the payments are low in the earlier years and then rise to a higher level over time. So with the graduated payment mortgage, that could be part of a adjustable rate mortgage, also known as an arm. With a balloon payment mortgage, which you see more on commercial property and not residential property. So if you're trying to buy, say, a commercial building, you're trying to open up a barbershop or a restaurant, that's called a commercial property. And we have what we call a balloon, balloon, not balloon, a balloon payment mortgage. What is that? That's a mortgage where the payments are, are low, relatively low, but then one large payment is required after a specified period to pay off the mortgage loan. So I get an example. You may acquire a building as part of a commercial property, and let's say they may give you a three-year mortgage over 36 months. Now you'll pay a monthly mortgage payment each month, but at the end of 36 months, guess what? You have to pay off the entire amount of that mortgage balance or be able to refinance it. So be sure you understand the terminology, the terms of these different types of mortgage agreements. Sometimes there will be called interest-only mortgages, which typically you may see these on what we call lines of home lines of credit, or it, it could be on a commercial lending. But we have an interest-only mortgage. You may see it again when you have an own mortgage, just a rate mortgage. It means that you're only paying the interest on the mortgage on the first few years. So your payments early on will be a smaller amount because you're paying interest only. But again, remember, if it is an interest-only interest only mortgage, none of your payments early on are going toward the principal balance. So if you owed $100,000 in year one, if the first three years are only you only paying interest, at the beginning of year four, you still owe them $100,000. So again, please, please be very careful and make sure you understand the terms of these different types of mortgages. If you have someone working in the accounting or finance field, 
they can help you better understand the terms that's shown on these different contracts. Mortgage refinancing. What is that? It is paying off an existing mortgage with a new mortgage that has a lower interest rate. So sometime when you first get your mortgage, perhaps your credit wasn't that great and you have to pay a higher interest rate. But now it's been three or four years and you've worked on the credit, you've improved your credit score. It makes sense to refinance and try to get obtain a lower interest rate that's going to lower the amount of your monthly, your monthly payment. A rate modification are available to some fixed rate mortgage holders. So when there's a crisis, and it doesn't have to be a crisis, but sometimes you can talk to your mortgage company and they will reduce the actual rate that you're paying because of your situation financially, perhaps you lost your job, something of that nature. So you can talk to your mortgage company to see if it's possible what's called a rate modification. And then a refinance analysis is just comparing the monthly savings of refinancing against the cost of refinancing. Because yes, there is a cost to refinance a loan, uh, but you want to compare those costs against your cost savings long term to see is it worth it to refinance your loan, get a smaller interest rate, uh, by doing the actual refinancing. So if you have questions about more questions about refinancing, you can go to the website mortgageloan.com, do a search on the term refinancing, and they'll provide you additional information on how to refinance the loan. Okay? So these are key takeaways regarding mortgage loans pertaining to your financial plan. Question number one, what mortgage amount can you afford? Okay. Question number two, what maturity should you select? 15 year mortgage, 30 year mortgage? Should you consider a fixed rate or an adjustable rate mortgage? So these are key questions you wanna ask yourself when you're preparing your financial plan. So again, here we have an example of with a 15-year mortgage, your monthly pay will be $791 compared to a 30-year mortgage is $537. That's based upon borrowing $100,000 at a 5% interest rate. But with the 15-year plan, notice that, let me go back, total interest paid is $42,000 compared to a 30-year mortgage is $93,256. Okay, so this is the comparison between the 15-year mortgage compared to renting. So if I decide to buy a house, then yes, my payment is higher than the rent amount behind $91. But sometimes your, your mortgage, mortgage payment will have to be lower than what you're paying in rent because this $600 is really not the current market rate. If you're trying to get a two-bedroom house in 2020, you're looking at about 800 to 850 that you're paying in rent, okay? But in this situation with the 600, <coughs> excuse me, being the, the rent amount, you're paying 537 as a mortgage payment. The mortgage payment is actually cheaper than the rent amount. But again, I do want to caution you all that this monthly payment you see here does not include insurance and taxes that you must pay on the property. So the insurance and taxes may add another $100 to $200 to your monthly payment amount. Okay? So again, the decisions. The monthly interest payment for a house for $100,000 it could be $7.91 a month. The rent you were paying is $600 per month. The difference there is $191. So look at your expenses to see if you can afford to pay that $7.91, which is the monthly payment to the mortgage company. But again, keep in mind 
when you're a person at home, you are building an equity and that home can have what we call value in it, meaning that hopefully if I decide to sell that home later, you can sell it for a price higher than what you initially paid for that property. Okay, so again, decision, do I want to do the shorter time period, the 15-year mortgage and save on interest, or do I want to do the 30-year mortgage and pay more on interest? Now, you do have another choice. You can do a 30-year mortgage, but then just make extra payments against that as you have the income coming in. So that way, you're not required to pay the high payment every month. But again, when you have the funds available, you're able to pay extra against your mortgage payment to reduce the amount that's going to be owed. Okay, so now that really does conclude our chapter 10 lecture. So hopefully you will take the information in stride and use it when making a decision on the purchase of a home. Okay, with that, I will say farewell.